Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is Guest Host Friday, and today's guest host is none other than Prescott Van Myers III, aka the Unemployed Wine Guy. You can follow him on TikTok and some other sites. Wink. Um, I don't know what that means. Anyway, just search Unemployed Wine Guy across all social media and you'll, you'll find him. All right, take it away, Prescott. Prescott Van Meyer III, here with Sandwiches of History. As you can see, I'm not Barry, the normal host with Sandwiches of History. I'm here for his guest Friday episode, and I am delighted that he invited me to partake. But I was even more honored by the recipe he sent me because, uh, I gotta say, it looks like a total banger. What are we making today? The football special from Williams Sandwich Recipes of 1974. So what are we looking for to make the football special? Well, the ingredients in front of me are our building blocks. We have one tablespoon of mustard, one tablespoon of radish, an egg yolk, two teaspoons of vinegar, and two teaspoons of water. We're also gonna be using some heavy whipping cream, whole wheat bread, rare roast beef, and lettuce. Now, the particular horseradish I used was just a regular creamy horseradish. I also used the Dijon mustard, since it did not say in the recipe what to use. And I like to use a champagne white vinegar for all my sandwich and salad recipes that call for vinegar. It just adds a certain je ne sais quoi. First thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble all of the ingredients in a saucepan. So we've got our mustard, the horseradish, the vinegar, the egg yolk, and the two teaspoons of water. I'm gonna mix this up. You may be asking yourself, why is it in a saucepan? <laughs> That's because we're gonna be heating this up very low heat until it thickens up. So in just a moment, I'm bringing this right over to the stove. That is nice and mixed. Smells very intense with the Dijon mustard and the horseradish together. I really, really like what I'm smelling so far. As you can see, I've got it on nice low heat and I'm gonna constantly stir it because I don't want that egg yolk cooking too much. We don't wanna scramble this, we just wanna thicken it up. All right, this is nice and thick. We're gonna bring this out of the dish. The intensity of the horseradish, the mustard, everything in there, nice and warm. There's just a really nice thickness to it that the yolk has provided. And an interesting way to kind of thicken that up, like a horseradish custard. So we want this to cool. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a few minutes while I work on the cream. Now the recipe calls for us to take one quarter cup of whipped cream and whip it up nice and well. Ooh, that's thick. It's gonna do it by hand. And this only took me a few minutes. In this bowl, it's only a quarter cup. You can see it's starting to get really nice and firm. And that's what we want. We want that consistency of whipped cream. There we go. Nice stiff peaks have formed. That's exactly what we want with the whipped cream. So I'm trying to keep all that air in there with that whipped cream. We got that salted and ooh, that horseradish. Boy, you just smell that and it smells wonderful. I'm trying to keep all that air in there. Almost like a horseradish mousse right now. That is very nice and light and ready to go. And obviously, I'm gonna take a little. Hmm. Okay, let's assemble the sandwich. So let's assemble it. It calls for buttered whole wheat bread. And yes, the butter is very cold, so it's not spreading very well. That's okay. Well, that's just gonna have to do. Got our lettuce, got our rare roast beef. And we've got our. Let's give this football special a go. I gotta be more subtle. Let's give this football special a go. Nailed it. I knew I would like this sandwich. I love horseradish and roast beef. I love the Dijon mustard. Adding that element of the whipped cream where you can really put a lot of that sauce, a lot of that mixture on top of your sandwich so you can really bring it all together, but still have a lot of smoothness and creaminess. I knew I was gonna love it. Nice quality roast beef, the lettuce being nice and crispy. The wheat bread, adding a little bit more texture than say like a white bread. I really enjoy that. Let's see if we can't plus this up. To be honest with you, even before I tried this, I knew what I was going to do to plus it up. Anchovy paste. Just kidding. <laughs> For long time viewers of Sandwiches of History, you know that anchovy paste has been, well, quite the thorn in Barry's flesh. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna go 
very traditional. What I've got here is some cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna put some fresh ground black pepper on it as well. All right, let's give this plussed up football special a go. The brightness and the sweetness of the tomatoes bring an element that allows the vinegar, the Dijon, the horseradish to really work. I think I would actually add a little more horseradish maybe to the folded mixture. Black pepper adds the, that smoky kind of kick that works really, really well with it. I would absolutely do this recipe. I would add every single time tomatoes, black pepper, and a little bit more horseradish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So sandwiches of history, they use a one to 10 rating, and I'm gonna give the football special a seven out of 10 a really nice sandwich, one you're gonna enjoy. The plussed up version with the black pepper and the tomatoes added to it, a little bit more horseradish, I would give that a nine. It is such an excellent and fun way to have roast beef. The whipped cream adds this element of richness to the, to the sandwich itself that just makes it almost luxurious. Steps are not that difficult. It took not too long to heat up the egg yolk and that mixture on the stove. Whipping up a quarter cup of whipped cream that didn't take long at all. So putting that together is this nice little mousse that you can be really luxurious with on your sandwich. Absolutely recommend it. Pairs so well with roast beef. As long as you have a nice, good quality roast beef, again, nine out of 10 for that sandwich. Special thank you to Sandwiches of History for letting me come on and be a, a guest on Fridays. So if you're a fan of his channel, head on over to my channel and give a like and a subscribe and a, a ping, sign up. Sign up for all of it, please. And again, thank you, Barry. I had a blast making the football special sandwich from Williams Sandwich Recipes of 1974.